After how many years this place has been shut down, it's about time we finally make a use out of it. Get rid of these blast doors, get rid of this blast door. As you know, we cleaned this place up and I am currently fixing up all the walls. I just got some more quartz, we're gonna fix up the ceiling. And right in here is going to be a new room and it'll also be the way to get into the new lab section. Hey, welcome back to our Let's Play, by the way. I think this is a good idea. I, I want to mess around in here. Could even finally make the bridge here. I might leave this section abandoned, though. Let's get to restoring. Oh, I need that. <laughs> okay, I can't remember what I showed you last. No, I missed one. This place is completely fixed up now, as you can tell, but I have an issue. I can't decide what I want to do with the lighting. So we currently have I, what I'm calling the lighting bug throughout my lab, which is this nonsense. They just don't want to fix it or don't know about it. I don't know. It's been in the game for a couple years now. And what I could do is go through this entire lab and just get lots of coal and place a torch on every single block. Because obviously there's a torch below the blocks that are lit. But do you know how many torches and time that would take? I don't know if that's worth it. So I'm thinking maybe I could redesign my lab where it's gonna be a little bit darker? I'm still thinking about it. I'm not gonna mess around with it too much in here, but uh, I've completely rehauled this room over here. Um, we now have a staircase to get up to the new expansion of the lab. And this room has a purpose now, as you can see. This is my rocket building room. Or more as this is where the scientists study and design the main engine of the rocket. This is one of the main engine components right here. Could also be a rocket, um, but I really like how this turned out. So we got like these fuel canisters here and I made it look like this is a smaller version. You could wheel that over there if you want and wheel it over here and put some fuel in it or whatever. Um, yeah, changed up the lights a bit. Cool looking room. This leads right up here to the new section of the whole lab, um, which is up here. And <laughs> I'm still trying to decide what I want to build in here. Honestly though, what do I put right here? I guess more computer desks and whatnot. This is like an observing room. But this has been a pretty fun build so far. It's been a while since we worked in the actual lab itself. I'm thinking I actually want to try to figure out what I want to do here next. I think as well I'm going to leave this like abandoned somewhat. I'll put, actually I need to put like some boards over the door like that. I just like it. I don't want to completely... Although this would be pretty useful. No, this is the old observing room. How about that? We don't use it anymore. I kind of like this view right here. Looks like I'm actually building a city back there. You know, that could be the start. You never know. I need to get rid of that crane now. We're still in the lab here. I've actually been working on those two smaller rooms I made. Look at this. I mean, I kind of like playing on this sometimes. Simply because it fixes this. Um... Oh yeah, look, forklift. <laughs> I don't know why I haven't made one of these before, but we got one carrying some boxes here. But, oh, for, oh, whoa. This isn't even tinted glass, this is just black glass. All you can see is the forklift in it. Um, but what I have in here is some um, machines. So I made a couple lathes. I really like how these turned out. Made this one look like it's spinning a rod right here. Maybe this one isn't even loaded up. Kind of looks like the gripper. Well, I forgot what you'd call that, but then you'd put whatever it is inside here that spins, and this is the cutter. It's been years since I took shop class, I forgot. And then we got some sort of machine sawing some metal right here. And over yonder, I just put one machine in here for now, but this is like some sort of laser cutting machine. Heck yeah, looking good. What does this room look like? Oh, oh, I kind of like this one. Very bright. But with this turned off, so this I think this is the lighting I'm going to go with in here. So I just have torches lined under here. I put glowstone all up under there of those upside down stairs. And this is much more pleasing to the eye rather than this polka dotted mess over here. So all I have to do actually is just run under here and destroy all these torches. But it's not as easy as it looks. I have to break these slabs to be able to get in it. Or... <gasps> Oh no, it gets rid of these ones. Dang it! To get this effect, I need the torches under here. I just wish this wasn't a thing. It's so annoying. Because look, you can't crouch under here or move. So you have to break all the slabs to mess with the torches. I really don't want to deal with this right now. I stand 
on this old decrepit tree because I have decided where I'm going to put my outdoor train tracks. Yeah, I, I've been taking a long time to decide because this is actually a really hard decision because these are big tracks and I have to find a relatively flat and long area in my world. And I somewhat actually wanted to cross through this biome here, but these aren't gonna be tracks used by us. These are gonna be old tracks. They're gonna be long abandoned and we're probably gonna put a train with carts on the back full of material. Today, I wanna to just try to build the tracks and maybe a bridge system, but I'm imagining it. Let me get back up here. Okay, I missed. Cool, thanks. Let me get back up here. Huh. But I am imagining it right through here. So, or kind of right through here. And I might bring it down this way. And I might stop it in this biome and make it look like it broke off. But it will come right through here over, we're gonna build a bridge system through here. And it'll go on the ground right through here. And then however long I wanna take it through the rest of these biomes. It gets a little hilly over here, so we're gonna have to do all kinds of different things with it. But I, I, I so badly want to make one, so I'm going to go get Andesite, and I'm going to build the bridge, see how it looks. Okay, I think I designed a bridge I like. Um, so I'm going to go with the normal sized, well, my size of train tracks, which is pretty big. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven wide, which is pretty large for some train tracks. But then again, my trains are pretty big. So this is going to be somewhat of a smaller bridge, but it's just going to go right across this water here. I'm going to build it all perfect first, and then we're going to run through and damage it up. I think at some point when it reaches this biome, I'm just going to break it off. Make it look like it just... Maybe we could even continue it on that side of the world at some point. Now before I continue making this any bigger than it needs to be, I'm going to go ahead and build the tracks on top and see how it looks. Boom. Really good? I hope so. <laughs> I'm kind of excited to see what a train would end up looking like on this. I don't think I'll build it on the bridge though, because a train sitting for years and years on a bridge like this would eventually just break. <laughs> All right, how we looking? An RTX looks pretty good. I really like, oh wait, I want to use this, but it doesn't work in RTX really. Whoa, what? But yeah, I'm really liking the design of this. I got this part to here. All this is what I want it to look like. I might continue this design down and go diagonal this way again just to complete the bottom down there. But yeah, other than that, this is looking pretty cool. I almost want to make a proper, like I'm using this, but I'm obsessed with the idea of it being abandoned. And I'm thinking even down here, eventually we can make like some sort of crumbled, ab abandoned train station. Well, not a train station, like a warehouse where it stops and drops off supplies. I still have the chance to decide if I actually want to use this myself. This is taking a lot of resources, I will say that. Mainly spruce wood. I could even bring all these trees over. Ooh. All right, that used up all of my spruce wood. Yeah, all of this used up all of my spruce wood. It's more compact than you think. I'm starting in, or I'm starting to add in some trap doors right here. Oak trap doors, because if I ever want to land on this, I don't want to fall down there, and get trapped. But yeah, it uses so much because you got slabs across here. And of course we got the whole beams right here. We got Fences right here. Fences all in here, too. Fences under here. And these are all stairs. Probably use like 15 stacks of spruce wood. Anyway, I'm now at the flat part. I decided I am not gonna act like I use this. I'm gonna make it somewhat abandoned. So sections like this, I will make the rail collapse. I'm also gonna make a collapsed part somewhere in the middle of that. But as we approach this area, we start going in the ground. I could easily go up one block and then continue the block, but I also want it to look like it's been here for years. So that said, as we approach this ground, I'm not even going to go up one. I'm going to make it look like it's kind of halfway buried into the ground like this. Oh yeah, that looks pretty good. I don't even, I couldn't even get rid of this if I wanted to. I could just make it look like it gets buried here and then continue it out this, ooh. Ooh, I might do that. And that's a good way to transition to elevation without actually making it look like it goes down a block. Is my boy Hunter still over here? You better be alive. I'm sure you are. I made you pretty safe. What was your name again? Hunter K. Hunter K met or something like that. He was the first one to donate a very large amount to my channel. Here we go. Oak wood. No spruce wood. And I know some of you are probably really sick of me doing abandoned builds. But I think all in all, that's just the theme I like going for in this world. 
But let me know what you think I should do with this. Should I make it abandoned? Because with my design style, I think that is what it'll look best as. Someone's mowing right outside my door, so sorry if my mic picks that up, but I want to record. <laughs> so, um, I just, it's funny, I just tweeted yesterday, what on earth can mangrove roots be used for? Because I have still yet to find a purpose. And it is great for rotted wood. Look at this. Yeah, this goes perfect. So I decided, yeah, it is going to be abandoned, of course. As you can see, I'm actually tearing it up quite a bit. Um, just making holes everywhere, but I have made it go pretty far, as you can see. Um, so when I come through natural areas like this, I don't, or I make the track look like it broke down there. But, um, yeah, I got it going into these woods over here. It's pretty broken up around here. Even got a hole right there. This mower is right outside my door now. Oh my god. <laughs> and I think I just want to continue it in these woods, but make it look very overgrown with these trees. And eventually make it get lost in these woods. Do I want to run it through no man's land? Well, that entirely de- Oh no, I, I don't think I could. I lined it up too much. It would run right through this. And I like this door and bridge a lot. So, I will run it through this biome, but right in the middle here is where I'm going to break it off and look like... It was just, yeah, broken off. <laughs> That's fine by me. So, to end this, what I would call productive episode, I think it was productive. I mean, heck, we built a whole lab room, fixed up a whole lab hallway, and made this whole train track system. And yet, somehow, this video is still only going to be like 14 minutes long. <laughs> From Mr. Mycotic, are you looking forward to the new Zelda game? Zelda, huh? I have never played Zelda, honestly, and I don't know why. It, isn't it? Oh. Isn't it a Nintendo game? I think so, yeah. If so, that's the main reason I haven't. I don't have anything Nintendo related. But I will admit, Breath of the Wild, that game looked fun. I'm a big fan of open world RPGs, and that honestly looked pretty fun. But I never experienced it because I simply don't have a Switch. I wonder when Nintendo is going to release another, like, proper console. I know you can... The Switch is considered a console because you can plug it in to your TV, but I wonder if they're ever actually going to make a actual console, you know? Where they can start putting other games on, like big AAA games. I don't think Nintendo would ever do that. They're like the stingiest people ever, <laughs> as far as I'm aware. But no, the only game I'm really looking forward to right now is, uh, what is it? Oh, Dead Island 2. That comes out at the end of April, and it's honestly the only thing I had relative interest in. Game's been pretty stale these days, so yeah, not a whole lot I'm interested in. And I just want to thank Jasper Steeman as well for a kind donation. I appreciate it, Jasper. You've donated quite a bit, haven't you? I'm so weird. I have such a weird, like, uh, idea with these things. I don't shear these until I see the smoke touch the top, like that, then I hit it. Because I'm so scared. Oh, you know, I need to test it. No, I don't want to test it, because every bee is going to come after me and kill me. See, that's what I think. I think if I hurry up and shear it before the smoke touches it, it won't register. <laughs> I'm not going to risk it. Ah, I really need a honey farm. I mean, this is a honey farm. I need, like, one mass scale, where it does everything by itself. Where I can get lots of honey, because I still have a honey build in mind. I've had this in my mind for since honey's been added. And I haven't built it yet, because it requires a lot of honeycomb. I should probably just go ahead and build, like, an automatic honey farm. Um, yeah, well, I guess that's gonna be it. We haven't even been inside the house today, have we? I'm not really sure. My tools ain't looking too good. This one's on its last leg. Ah, uh, even my fire poker is getting low. I kind of just want to go on a completely new tool haul, you know? Just get rid of all of these and just have all brand new line of tools. That's always such a refreshing feeling. But hey, thanks for watching today's episode. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.